Hey everybody, this is Devinder from Engadget, and uh, we're here looking at the Surface Studio, Microsoft's first all-in-one uh, Surface computer. Uh, it looks, even they said, it looks pretty familiar. Uh, it has a really nice, thin 20-inch display, display here. Uh, they're calling it the thinnest display ever put on a desktop. Uh, but what's really cool is these arms, you can actually articulate it and just move it down, down to about 20 degrees. And this is really great for artists or anybody who wants to just really lean in and dive into this work. Um, all the hardware is down here. Uh, it has a, right now, a sixth generation quad core Intel i5, i7 processor. Also has the NVIDIA GTX uh, 965M or 980M graphics and uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So a lot of hardware in this. Surprising they didn't get to the Intel 7th gen processors, but maybe we'll see that eventually. And also looks like we have a new wireless keyboard and mouse combination for Microsoft Q. Uh, has the Surface Pen as usual. And uh, a new device, a new accessory called the Surface Dial. And this is something that kind of sticks to the screen. It's really useful when your screen is down. Kind of sticks to it and lets you open up other options uh, depending on the app you're using. This is something that's going to work on all the Surface devices too, so not just the Surface Studio. Kind of an interesting accessory. We haven't seen something like this before. Um, but I haven't had much time to play around with this yet. But yeah, the Surface Book, from what I can tell, I haven't seen a desktop uh, that's really looked uh, this intriguing in a long time. Uh, the last one I can really remember is the iMac, uh, kind of Apple's refreshed thinner iMac. This goes a step further because this actually lets you bend it down. It looks just as immersive as the iMac. It has a crazy screen resolution of 4,500 by 3,000. Uh, that's even higher than uh, 4K. So you're just really deep into this. Microsoft says they also uh, are working on advanced color space, so you can uh, switch between P3 and uh, sRGB, I believe. Um, really useful, could be something really useful for creators. It starts at $3,000, so it's not meant for everybody, but it looks pretty cool for the people who could really you know, build something on this.